think growing up, um, my parents were really intentional in providing a positive example of of sexuality and of just loving relationships in general um, through the way that they interacted with each other. Um, they were never shy, like my mum would come home and my dad would grab her in a big hug and a big kiss in the kitchen and as kids you're like, oh that's so gross. But the older that you get, the more you look at that and it's just like, that's beautiful because um, that really helped me to have a positive view of of what a loving, um, I guess, passionate sexual relationship could be. And that's really helped in, in our marriage, I think. With my mother, she uh, was always open uh, when it came to talking about issues, um, it, to the point where we kind of have a brother and sister relationship now, uh, in the sense that uh, she will be more than open uh, with how we talk about um, you know, sexuality, uh, especially when I was younger as well, because she wanted me to go to her if I had any questions um, about those topics. And so uh, sex and sexuality haven't, haven't really been such a taboo topic for me because of that upbringing that I had with, with my mum. Um, and with you as well, with my stepfather, um, they were quite open with their affection for each other. And I think that really helps um, because we see two very healthy, flourishing relationships and they're not afraid to, to show the love for each other physically. I think for us growing up, we grew up in the same church and I don't really recall um, a time where the church in general or our local church did anything regarding sex um, for us and I would have liked more of that as a teenager. There could have been a bit more um, yeah, information I and I guess training provided in a way that helped us as teenagers and as young adults mm. to be a bit more informed about what the Bible says, about what God thinks about it, um, to look at society and how that relates. Um, and I don't think we really had that. No, I, I, I think you're right. Um, when it came to church, when I was young, most of the time where I would find the education about anything sexual would really be from my friends uh, or from online. And uh, unfortunately, it becomes a lot easier nowadays to find that information away from the church. And really, to be honest, I, I would love to see the church talk about it a lot more freely, a lot more openly. Now, it doesn't have to be from the pulpit, uh, but it could be in a youth, you know, small group or something where it's appropriate, but it needs to be talked about because really when you think about it, where do you want the information about sex? Do you want it from the culture or do you want it from God? I think one of the biggest things I would say, and this is something that um, I think a lot of young people sometimes get confused is that they think sex equals intercourse and anything before that is fine as long as you're not you know having intercourse then it's okay but I think the Bible really talks about sex as more than just the physical act of, of intercourse I think it's about sexual purity in general I think uh, one thing as well is just to know that God loves sex. He, he absolutely loves it and He actually gives it to us as a gift. Yeah. And I, I think about sex as, as kind of that wrapped present underneath the tree, trying to get to Christmas, right? And with some young people, especially in this day and age of uh, instant gratification, they look at it and every day that goes on it becomes harder and harder to not open that gift. Yeah. But I think it's kind of like when you get to Christmas, which in, in our you know, space is marriage, it becomes all that much better because you know you waited and when you open it, it becomes so awesome. Um, if you kind of attack it here and there during the year, and I know that being young, of course, there's going to be times where you just want to be able to, you know, go with your urges. But if there was any advice I'd give young people, if they can, hold on to that gift and make sure you don't open it until God intended it to, because if you keep it the way that God intends it to be, it's amazing. It's such an amazing thing to have. Yeah.